Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. As we all know, due to changes in the external environment, wafer foundries like TSMC and Samsung have gradually lost their ability to ship freely to the outside world. Consequently, mainland China's chip foundry industry has begun to flourish. Mainland foundries, led by SMIC, have gradually overcome the technical difficulties in bringing 7 nanometers and 5 nanometers chips into production. To further curb the development of the domestic chip industry, the United States has privately reached agreements with semiconductor equipment powerhouses such as Japan and the Netherlands to restrict the sale of related semiconductor equipment to China. Against this backdrop, Wen Inc., former CEO of ASML of the Netherlands, stated that US and Western restrictions will force Chinese semiconductor companies to become more innovative and gradually break free from external constraints. This will have an unprecedented impact on Europe and the United States' own advantageous industries. As expected, mainland China's semiconductor equipment industry has rapidly begun to make breakthroughs. A Chinese rival, once disdained, is quietly reshaping the global semiconductor equipment landscape. 16.142 billion yuan, this figure is more than just revenue data in a financial report. It's a resounding slap in the face of those who attempt to curb China's chip technology breakthrough by monopolizing equipment. Rewind two years ago, I doubt any Western country would have believed that China could achieve a top six position in the global chip equipment manufacturing industry in less than a decade. Back then, most high-end semiconductor equipment was monopolized by countries like Europe, the United States, Japan, and South Korea, making it extremely difficult for China to manufacture its own. Not only were the relevant semiconductor equipment technology patents tightly controlled by the West, but even basic components were refused sale to China. Achieving a breakthrough in chip equipment requires integrating domestically produced fundamental components like lenses, workbenches, and software. This is not only extremely time-consuming and costly, but the resulting products may even be inferior to those imported directly from overseas. However, some companies simply refuse to believe this. North Huachuang, a company spun out of several established state-owned factories, has taken an unexpected path. While other companies are still considering how to achieve a breakthrough in a single piece of equipment, this company has already thoroughly mapped out every step in the semiconductor manufacturing process, including etching, thin film deposition, heat treatment, and cleaning. In the first half of this year, North Huachuang's R&D investment alone accounted for one-fifth of its revenue, reaching 2.915 billion yuan. This also reveals the company's ambition. It has over 9,900 patent applications and over 5,700 authorized patents. In some areas of semiconductor equipment, North Huachuang's products are already capable of manufacturing 7 nanometer and 5 nanometer chips. The West's blockade of China's 14 nanometer and below equipment is intended to prevent China from independently producing advanced chips like 7 nanometer chips. Normal Huachuang, however, has proven with real action that without their equipment supply, China can completely manufacture its own chips. In addition, this semiconductor giant is also consolidating the domestic semiconductor equipment industry. It paid 3.135 billion yuan in cash to acquire a 17.87% stake in Xinyuan Micro, aiming to complete the final piece of the North Huachuang industry chain. Now, ASML of the Netherlands is facing an unexpected situation. 
This once-renowned semiconductor equipment giant is now facing a continuous loss of overseas orders due to U.S. chip control policies. The rise of Chinese domestic semiconductor equipment manufacturers not only means that the overall strength of China's chip industry chain has been further strengthened. It also means that ASML's moat in the field of lithography equipment will soon be weakened. As Lin Ifu said, once Chinese domestic manufacturers achieve a breakthrough in semiconductor equipment, based on past experience, they will use lower market prices and better service to seize the overseas market share of foreign companies like ASML of the Netherlands. This is probably the situation that ASML's former CEO is most worried about. His concern is not that China will lose ASML's equipment supply to the Netherlands, but that if ASML stops selling products to China and China produces its own products, how will ASML compete? China's new energy vehicle industry has already demonstrated a fact. Under the influence of economies of scale, the cost of German and other European automakers is equivalent to the end sale price of Chinese auto products. In other words, the reason Chinese-made goods are so high quality and affordable is because China boasts the world's most comprehensive industrial chain and lower production costs than those in Europe and the United States. Once these products are sold in large quantities to overseas markets, European and American companies will be left with nothing to lose. The rapid rise of North Huachuang is by no means an isolated incident in China. Huawei and Cambrican have also begun to break NVIDIA's technological blockade, an industry monopoly in the field of AI chips. AMIC increased its capital by 4 billion yuan, towarding technology, and ACM Semiconductor doubled their revenues, and Hua Haichinka's profits soared. The entire domestic semiconductor equipment industry is undergoing a transformation through quantitative change to qualitative change. When external blockades become the norm, internal breakthroughs become the only option. Just like the two bombs and one satellite project, the more China is blocked from the outside world, the more it inspires its astonishing creativity. The best way out for ASML in the Netherlands is to obtain export licenses before China achieves breakthroughs in high-end lithography equipment. Otherwise, by the time domestic semiconductor equipment breakthroughs are achieved, it will be impossible for other companies to sell or buy it. Because, out of support for local chip equipment manufacturers, Chinese companies will spontaneously purchase domestically produced equipment. At that point, even if ASML's equipment technology is more mature, it will be relegated to a lower priority. What are your thoughts on this? Feel free to leave a comment and discuss.